let us talk about uh, soft computing today and in this soft computing today we are going to see uh, some introduction of what is soft computing the tools available the importance the future of soft computing the difference between hard computing and soft computing and the conclusion so let me tell you this soft computing is actually not uh, software computing this soft computing is not a software computing there are more uh, complex systems which are arising in biology, medicine, humanities, management, sciences. So these similar fields, they often remain intractable to the conventional mathematics and analytical methods. These fields, they are, they need actually, these mathematical and analytical model. So this soft computing, it actually deals with imprecision, uncertainty, partial truth, an approximation to achieve this tractability, robustness and low solution cost for the field which is not computer science or mathematics. What exactly is soft computing? The soft computing it consists of distinct concepts and techniques which aim to overcome the difficulties encountered in real world problem. Real world is what you see. So these problems result from the fact that our world seems to be imprecise, uncertain and difficult to categorize, right? The soft computing is use of inexact solution to computationally hard tasks such as solution of NP, NP computer science people might be knowing it, this NP complete problems for which there is no known algorithm that can compute an exact solution in a particular volume of time. Now, soft computing differs from conventional computing, that is hard computing. We are going to see the differences also. In that, uh, unlike hard computing, it is tolerant to imprecision, it is tolerant to uncertainty, partial truth, and approximation. So, in effect, soft computing is how real, real mind, human mind works. You can see, you can adapt, and you can decide this is what soft computing is able to do there are various components and forms of soft uh, computing may it be neural network svm software vector machine fuzzy logic ec evolutionary computation like evolutionary algorithm meta heuristic and swarm intelligence ideas uh, based on probability that is like bayesian network and chaos theory we are going to see some of them today like fuzzy logic models, EC, neural networks, genetic algorithm, machine learning, and probabilistic reasoning. So these all doesn't cover this soft computing. There are various things, but because these are very highly used in various fields, that, that's why I'm just hiding in them. So let us start with fuzzy logic models. Fuzzy logic uh, is actually a form of many valued logic in which the truth values of variables may be any real number between 0 and 9. Not 0, not 1, but between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1. Like in contrast, the Boolean logic, it says the variables can only have value as 0 and 1. So fuzzy logic or fuzzy logic has been extended to handle the concept of partial truth. Where the truth value may range between completely true, means 1, to completely false, that is 0. If we extend it, uh, when linguistic variables are used, these degrees may be managed by specific functions. For example, uh, you know, this is 0, this is 1, that means either a person can be uh, sick, uh, it ha he has fever or no fever. But in fuzzy logic, a person can have no fever, it may have slightly fever, he may be moderately high fever, he may have high fever, or rather he may have very high fever also. So this is the you know uh, extent in which the fuzzy logic model can go. So in this image, uh, the meaning of expression is cold, warm, and hot are represented by a certain function. So this fun by mapping function uh, at some temperature scale. So the point on the scale has three truth values, one for each of the three functions, cold, warm, and hot. So the vertical line is right in the, this image represent a particular temperature that the three arrows, you know, truth value is gorgeous. Any temperature can be interpreted as not hot, maybe slightly warm or fairly cold. 
So this is how a fuzzy logic model uh, can represent the value in between 0 and 1. Then comes one of the soft computing um, aspect that is evolutionary computation. This is a subfield of AI artificial intelligence uh, that can be defined by the type of algorithm it is concerned with. In this algorithm, also called as evolutionary algorithm, these are based on adopting Darwinian principles, right? That is why it has the name. So technically, they belong to the family of trial and error problem, trial and error problem solvers, and can be considered a global optimization method with a meta heuristic and stochastic optimization character, uh, distinguished by the use of population of candidate solutions. This meta heuristic and stochastic, uh, this stochastic or stochastic means that finding from a variety of solutions. Okay, there are various options. You are selecting one of them, the best one. Evolutionary computation, this lies here. So if we talk about machine learning, simulated environment, computative games, you know, neural networks, you are here. So this is the place where it lies, and these are computer science aspects, but we are talking about evolutionary biology also where the soft computing will be used. So this evolutionary computation this uses iterative progress such as growth or development in a population. So this population is then selected in a guided random search using parallel processing to achieve the desired end. And some processors are often inspired by biological mechanism of evolution, hence the name evolutionary computation. Then comes the neural network. So in machine learning and cognitive science, ANN, artificial network, uh, neural network are family of models inspired by biological neural networks central nervous systems are available in particular the brain like we have and are used to estimate our approximate functions that can depend on a large number of inputs and are generally unknown. So N and R are generally presented as a system of interconnected neurons uh, which exchange messages between each other like this. They are exchanging messages. Uh, the connections have numeric weight. Every connection has weight that can be tuned. This tuning is important. It is based on experience making neural networks adaptive to inputs and capable of learning. Then comes the genetic algorithms. So in the field of AI, artificial intelligence, a GA, a genetic algorithm is a search heuristics that mix the process of natural selections. Heuristics is again a word called selection. So this selection, uh, also called as meta heuristic, is routinely used to generate useful solution to optimization and search problems. Genetic algorithm belong to the larger class of uh, EA, which generates solution to optimization problem using techniques inspired by natural evolution, such as inheritance, mutation selection, and crossover. Within this uh, GA, there are adaptive heuristics such algorithm based on evolutionary ideas of natural selection in genetics, like initial random select population, then selection, then crossovers, and then mutation, and then Topping condition if they are met, yes, otherwise we again go to the same channel. So, as such, they represent an intelligent exploitation of random search used to, to solve these optimization problems. Then come to machine learning. This machine learning is a subfield of CS, computer science, that evolved from the study of pattern recognition and computational learning theory, the AI, artificial intelligence. So, machine learning explores the study and construction of algorithms that can learn from the way make uh, from predictions from data and uh, such algorithms operate by building a model from example inputs in order to make data-driven predictions or decisions other than the following strictly static instructions this is how it works then comes the probabilistic reason the aim of this probabilistic logic also uh, probability logic and probabilistic reasoning is to combine the capacity of probability theory to handle uncertainty with the capacity of a deductive logic to exploit structure. So the result is a richer and more expressive formalism with a broad range of possible application areas. This is just an example which I wanted to show. And this uh, probabilistic logic this is attempt to find a natural selection of traditional logic truth tables. The result they define are derived through probabilistic expressions instead. So the difficulty with this uh, probabilistic logic is that they tend to multiply the computation uh, complexities of their probabilistic and logical components. Like in burglary, for example, I'm just taking an example. In burglary, if alarm goes, um, John calls. If earthquake comes, Mary calls. So these are the probabilities and these are the various uh, values of the probability. This is how the reasoning is taken care of. 
So what is the importance of software computing or soft computing? I'm beginning in um, saying software, basically it is not a software, it is a soft computing only. The conceptual structure of soft computing suggests that students should be trained not just uh, in fuzzy logic, neurocomputing, genetic uh, programming, probabilistic reasoning, or you know neural network, but in associated methodologies, uh, though not necessarily at the same degree. Bio bioinformatics and biomedicine, this SC has attracted close attention of researchers and also have been applied successively to solve problems in these fields. So nevertheless, the amount of information from biological experiments and the application involved large scale high throughput technologies is rapidly increasing nowadays. So therefore, the ability of being scalable across large scale problems becomes an essential requirement of modern soft computing approaches. These are the differences of hard computing versus soft computing. In hard computing, it requires precisely stated and analytical model and a lot of computation time. While in soft computing, it is tolerant of precision, uncertainty and approximation. While in hard computing, it is based on binary logic, numerical analysis and crisp software. While soft computing, it is based on fuzzy logic, neural networks and probabilistic reasoning. In hard computing, it requires problem programs to be written, but it can. Soft computing can involve its own program. Hard computing is deterministic. Soft computing it incorporates stochasticity. In hard computing, it is strictly sequential. For soft computing, it allows parallel computations. So, what is particularly significant in uh, 